Hi, I'm Tira, the owner of Eco Art Shop Vintage Watercolors, and this is Craft With Me Wirebound Books video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how I make my recycled watercolor books. Making your own wirebound journals is actually super easy by utilizing the cinch machine, and you can utilize materials you already have at home. Things used in this video include the cinch, craft board, watercolor paper, two to one pitch wire binding coils, boxes to recycle, scissors, and a paper cutter or slicer. These are a few of the journals that I've already made to show you that you can use any type of boxes as covers. I've utilized Ritz boxes, tea boxes, graham crackers, and drink boxes. Literally any kind of box that is clean and does not hold any oily foods. I recommend not using oil food covers because they are not compostable since the oils remain on the surface and does not mix well with anything that soaks up water. Oily covers also soak onto any paper you use and render it gross and hard to paint or write on, so do not use it. Now that we've got that out of the way, first things first, deconstruct the box to lay flat. Be careful not to rip any of the sides that you want to use as a cover. Once the box is flat, use your scissors to cut away the covers from the rest of the box pieces. Here are some of the sides that aren't salvageable as there are rips from the glue, too much wording, or it's just not aesthetically pleasing for me. Once the scrap pile is built, you can drop this in your compost bin. From this one tea box, I was able to obtain three covers. Afterwards, I pull out the paper cutter and clean these cuts for the final cover measurements. Try to measure evenly. It's hard trying to remember what exact 30 second measurement you cut to. It's much easier to keep it to quarter inches than 30 second inches. I repeat this for all of the covers. Next up, I measure and cut my watercolor paper scraps to the sizes that I need at 20 sheets per journal. You don't have to do it this way. This is just how I do it. Note, be careful with your hands on the watercolor paper. Your fingers carry natural oils and can make imprints on the paper. I always wash my hands before handling and try my best not to apply pressure to the top of the paper so there's no oil marks left behind when I'm painting with the watercolors. After cutting all the sizes, next up is to bring out the cinch. The cinch is a relatively simple and small mechanical machine. It has 12 hole presses that you apply weight to in order to make holes. On the back side, there's a cinching section and this applies an even pressure on the coils to close the journals. You guys will see that in just a moment. To properly use this, make sure your hole punches are set to the size that you need them. Try a few testers out before using your pre-cut paper. After, cut all the paper and covers face up. The cinch can only do a couple of thick sheets at a time. After punching, set all the sheets face up on the coil. The last cover needs to be face down, and you'll see why in a minute. With the covers facing one another, gently and carefully move the journal to the cinching section. Apply pressure to the coil's top and bottom opening, even against the back of the cincher. It won't really make sense unless if you're working with it. Close the cinch and then you're done. Flip the back cover and you have a completed journal that you can use right away. It's so simple it makes you question if you did it right. That is my kind of crafting. Please like, follow, subscribe, and sell your soul. Let me know what kind of other crafting you guys would like to see behind the scenes of my shop. Thank you and happy crafting.